Hi, what is going on? My name is Anand. In this video, we're going to talk about SMTP, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. And don't get overwhelmed with the definition and the image over here. I'm going to simplify this SMTP server for a non-technical person. And here's a disclaimer. This SMTP server's video is only intended for digital marketer or any email marketer out there. He's not going to talk about the technicalities Rather, it's going to talk about the advantages of SMTP. But first, I'll introduce you uh, with SMTP, what it is, how it works. And then we're going to talk about all the SMTP servers out there and how you can use them. So SMTP server, which stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, is something which is responsible to send email. That's it. In a very simple language. Uh, if you're a digital marketer, if you're an email marketer, if you've ever used an email marketing platform in past, like MailChimp, what you see here, this one is the interface. So this is you who's trying to send email using MailChimp. You're trying to send bulk emails using MailChimp. And MailChimp is using SMTP server in background to send those emails. And this SMTP server is different than your tra traditional hosting server. Even if you've got a hosting from, from a company and you're able to send you uh, send emails using that hosting company, they've given you a different SMTP server in order to send those emails, right? So SMTP server and a hosting server is a completely different thing. SMTP server runs on port 25. And I'm not going to talk much about the technicalities but the advantage of using SMTP server is that you can connect those SMTP credentials with any platform that you want, even with your WordPress, even with uh, email marketing platform out there. And you can send emails at a much customized level with and, uh, and at a very affordable pricing as well, because all these popular email marketing tools out there like MailChimp charge you a hell lot of money because they are using SMTP server in, in a background and you don't have any idea about SMTP server. So I'm just taking you to the next level where you are aware about SMTP server and you can connect that SMTP server with any CRM that accept SMTP server and send your email at a much affordable pricing. What is the another advantage of having an SMTP server? So let's say if you own an SMTP, SMTP server or if you've got a dedicated SMTP server, that SMTP server is not going to be used by anyone else. That means no one is going to ruin your IP, your reputation when you're trying to send emails. If you own the SMTP server, you're the person who's going to send those emails and you're the person who's responsible for the reputation of that server, right? But whereas if you're using a free SMTP server like MailChimp in a, in a, in a free plan, obviously, and you, you haven't got a dedicated IP for yourself, that means uh, someone else is using the same SMTP server, same IP to send those emails. And if that person screw up with the reputation of that IP, your, your emails are going to land on spam or promotional inbox, right? Now, there are a lot of SMTP servers out there. There are popular one, free one out there, which is, you know, something like Gmail, Yahoo and uh, Outlook. So you can connect Gmail, Yahoo and Outlook as well as a SMTP server with any platform out there. Uh, or you can use a paid one like Amazon, SES, SendGrid, uh, you know, SendInBlue in order to send those emails. Now, Amazon SES is one of the affordable SMTP server out there. I'm going to make a video on that as well in the same channel. So make sure to subscribe uh, to Grow Me Organic and I'll show you how can you uh, register and start using Amazon SES to send uh, bulk emails at a much affordable price. But for this video, I'm going to show you SMTP credentials for different popular email providers out there. So look at this. We've got this one for Gmail. For Gmail, what you need is just this, this host value, username, password, and port number. That's it. These are the things that you need in order to connect uh, this SMTP server 
with any email marketing platform out there. You can use Gromi Organic as well to send emails. Now for Gmail, there's an additional security layer, which is less secure apps. So you, you need to enable less secure apps. We've written this over here. That's there only for Gmail, not for any other SMTP. So you need to enable the less secure app and you're good to go. You'll be able to connect your Gmail account with any email marketing CRM pl platform. So if I go to gromyorganic.com, look at this. I've connected my SMTP server. I've connected my Amazon SES. I've connected my Gmail SMTP server and I've connected my private SMTP server as well. This is the SMTP server that has been hosted by us. This is the SMTP server by Amazon SES and this is the SMTP server by Gmail. So for Gmail, as I said, you need to put the default configuration, which is smtp.gmail.com post 465. And here you'll put the username and the password. If you want to receive those emails, you want to read the email content, you need to put IMAP credentials as well. So IMAP host, IMAP port, right? And if you want to pre-fill these values, you can go here and choose whatever is your SMTP provider. Now, we're not going to talk about uh, Gromio Organic at this point of time. What we're talking about is SMTP server. So you can obviously connect your free SMTP server, but in, in the free SMTP server, you've got some limitation. Like Gmail, you can only send 100 emails a day. And in Yahoo, for, there are different uh, SMTP servers out there. Uh, and for different SMTP servers, we've got a different limits, daily sending limits which you can, you can find on our blog. So if you go to our blog, uh, we've written a detailed article on what is the sending limits of different email service provider. Let me open this one. For Amazon SES, you can send as many emails if you are out of the sandbox. But, but look at this, we've got Amazon SES, GoDaddy. So GoDaddy, Hostinger, Bluehost, they'll also give you some, uh, you know, daily sending limits. They'll also give you a SMTP server in order to send emails. So you can connect GoDaddy, Bluehost, or whatever is, uh, you know, hosting provider, providers SMTP server in order to send emails. But they've got a different policy, so you need to, you know, take care of those policies. Now, Amazon SES, as I said, is one of the, one of the affordable uh, SMTP server out there because for, for just $1, you can send 10,000 emails. Whereas I think if you want to send email to 10,000 contacts in, uh, in MailChimp, it's somewhere around $200. So you can compare it yourself. Now getting approved in Amazon SES is very difficult. I'm going to make a video on how to get approved on Amazon SES. So make sure to subscribe to Gromio Organic and I'll drop the video very soon. But here you can see I've already got approved here on Amazon SES. So if I go to my account dashboard, I've got 50,000 daily sending limits. Now, if I change my region to anything else, we'll get a non approved account. Okay, let me just go to the dashboard first. And look at this. Right now it is in sandbox. So you can create a free account on Amazon SES and you'll still be getting 200 emails per hour. So you can still send 200 emails per hour completely free. And that's a daily sending quota. If you want to go beyond that, then you'll have to request uh, for the production access and you need to type out a message. So here you need to tell them what is the purpose for which you want to get this SMTP server. You need to tell, give them a website from where you're collecting those emails, the newsletter, everything you need to tell them. There's going to be a back and forth communication. And once it is done, you will get your SES account approved. For a detailed video on how to get started with Amazon SES, uh, you'll probably find this in the channel because I'm going to post this very soon on Gromi Organic's YouTube channel. Now, uh, you can use other SMTP server providers as well, like smtp.com. Uh, now, this one is uh, quite expensive, smtp.com, because see, if you want to send 5,000 emails, you want to send 20, uh, $25 a month, 
three hundred dollars a month if you want to send five hundred thousand emails per month. So there are different plans out there that you can choose from, and you can connect with your uh, with your email marketing CRM. Now you can search for those email marketing platform that accept SMTP server. Romeo Organic is one of them. So if you connect Romeo Organic with Amazon SES, it it, it makes it super affordable to send your email campaigns or your drip email marketing series. If you haven't signed up for Grow Me Organic yet, sign up for the 14 days free trial where you don't have to put your credit card. And then you can sign up for AWS, SMTP or any other SMTP server out there. And you can connect that SMTP server with Grow Me Organic to start sending emails with the newsletters or you know whether it is a drip email campaign. Also, in this description, I'm going to add a link where you can get your own custom SMTP server, your private SMTP server for yourself, where you don't have to pay for the credits. Because right now here in SES, you have you, you need to pay for the credits. Like if you if you're sending 10,000 emails, then you need to pay, uh, you know, one dollar for 10,000 emails. But if you want to go beyond that and you don't want to pay for the credits, then you need to own your own SMTP server, your private SMTP server. And using that, you can send the, your emails at even much affordable pricing. Now, if you've got any question about SMTP server, what it is, uh, drop the comment. I'll try my best to reply to your questions. And very soon, I'm going to post a video about Amazon SEO. So make sure to subscribe to Romeo Organic's YouTube channel.